Guten Morgen, Sylvia. Guten Morgen. Uh, we'll together download GitHub Desktop and then use this to get CWATM and then CWATM input data at 30 arc minute. Um, we can begin by going to the GitHub, uh, yeah, Google GitHub space desktop. And then the first link. Perfect. Oops. You'll have the option to create an account, but it's not necessary. Okay. You'll also have the option to do Still it waiting. later. Okay, then skip this step. Yeah, you'll still have to put in your name right now, name and email address. We can, should you create an account later, it will always attach into this as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, great. We'll come back here. Um, let's go back to a browser and search for um, CWATM, C W A T M, uh, space, and then GitHub, or it's the second uh, suggested option. Yeah, great. Um, and let's go to the first one. So we're looking for github.com slash IASA slash mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Now we see this green bit, green button towards the right. Right click it. Oh, sorry, just click it normally. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, click it normally. Okay. And now there's an option open with GitHub desktop. Let's try this. Sometimes it works. Okay, it, it didn't work. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, just go... Um, yeah, go back to the browser and then just push the back button. Great. Yeah. So what, what we'll do here, uh, push the code button again and uh, copy this. Yeah, perfect. Click this. And then let's go to GitHub Desktop ourselves. Yeah, great. And click clone a repository from the internet. And towards the right, go to URL. And then we paste in now, um, this local path is what's suggested. Are you good with this? Um, yes. Okay. What, the clone? Clone. Okay, um, great. Uh, just for this, we'll go to a different branch. This is the main branch. We have three branches, a, a beta branch and a develop branch. Just to have the most recent updates uh, for us, uh, let's go to develop. So where it says current branch, there's a little downward pointing arrow. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. just uh, click, okay, yes. go to develop. Great. Okay, we have CWATM. Um, right. Next step, <laughs> let's get some of the input data at 30 arc minute. Uh, it's the coarsest resolution we use, 50 kilometer by 50 kilometer. Uh, to do this, let's go back to a browser. And yeah, let's search uh, CWATM uh, space uh, GitHub, yeah. And then space, let's do uh, earth, E-A-R-T-H, dash, 
Um, and let's type in 30 min. 30 and M-I-N. I've, I've not searched for it in this way, so I'm interested to see what comes up. Uh, min, like a minute, M-I-N. Uh. We'll see what comes up. Okay, perfect. Just what uh, yeah. we wanted. Yeah. So it's it's easy enough to search for. All right, so we'll do the same thing. We'll go to this green button towards the right. Uh, copy this. And now when we're here, go to the go to file in the top. Great. And let's go clone repository. Great. Yeah, it's before. Yes. Great. Okay, while this is happening, do you mind going back to the browser? Um, and now scroll down in here. Uh, scroll down a bit further. Okay. Uh, uh, so yes, uh, perfect to this me, description. Sir? So we're at mm -hmm. Yasa, so we're going to access. So one more piece of data we need is the climate data. It is too large right now to put inside of a repository, so we hold it inside of our FTP server. So okay. we, we'll access it through our P drive, um, but for everyone else, they'll use this FTP. I, I just want to demonstrate how one would open up this FTP server. Do you mind copying this whole line? Yeah. Copy this, and now open up actually any folder on your computer. Uh. Yeah, great. And type it in and paste that in here in the address. Yeah, push enter. Great. And then it takes you here. So what one would do is they would... Um, yeah, so this one on the very right, you don't need to do this, but this GSWP3 dash mm -hmm. W5E5.tar, they would mm -hmm. take this onto the computer, uh, the one on the very right, the one that just looks like um, the white, one. exactly. But mm -hmm. sometimes this is, uh, it's huge, and sometimes it's challenging to download. So first suggest to download this one. No, yes, if 70 that doesn't gigabyte, work, yeah. Right. <laughs> if one just wants a subset of it to start with, the next file, this one GSWP3 dash W5E5, underscore 2011, 2019. Yeah, exactly. They can take this one instead. Um, we will be using the GSWP3-W5E5 just already in our P drive directory, but someone could copy this onto the computer to take to have access to the climate data. Mm -hmm. So we can just close out of this folder. Close the folder? Yeah, close the folder. It's fine. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we can also uh, close out of this. And well, let's go to GitHub Desktop. Uh, yeah, this repository uses Git LFS. That means large file storage. Um, would you like to do so now? Initialize Git LFS. Yes. Yep. Uh, great. Uh, so we have everything we need. Should I change the branch here? This one it's fine. This one it's okay. fine. Now we want to go to where this is in your computer, where we clone the repository. There's a mm -hmm. sort of shortcut of way of doing this. You, we can just go to where it is, going to documents and GitHub, but let's let's try another way. If you go into history, or well, actually go into repository, the top option, and go show in Explorer. Great, so it takes you to where we are. Um, what we're going to do now is to make sure everything's installed properly and we have all the packages, um, we're going to run CWATM uh, for a short run. Uh, so we're going to open up this settings file, the settings underscore CWATM underscore template, the last file in this folder. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. We are going to um, first, yeah, scroll down slightly. Great, just here. We're just going to correct or update two of the paths. So you see this first one, path root? Mm -hmm. uh, we need to change it to where your CWM earth-30 minutes is. Yes. So if we go to that folder right there, yeah, and go in the address bar and just copy this, perfect. And we can bring this over here. Great. And one last thing is we need to create an output folder uh, 
to hold the outputs from the model. Uh, mm -hmm. This is just an example, but we can create a, maybe within your documents folder. Yeah. We could create something called CYM outputs. Anything that you suggest. The non GitHub is probably not uh, necessary. Yeah. Can it go in the same folder as the other it, one? It GitHub? could. Some, somehow I prefer to keep everything in the GitHub okay. folder, just stuff that's coming and updating with GitHub. Okay. Okay, so now let's actually create. Uh, perfect, that's actually nice. Put it in CYM folder. And uh, maybe put a, a dash or an underscore. Yeah. Okay, so okay. now let's, well, let's actually create that folder in your computer. Um. Um, Sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, no, not, not here. Yeah. No. It's this is perfect. No, but it is uh, here in documents. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then, you know, in fact, we could. Um, yeah, that's actually fine. You can delete that last part of path out. So we created CYM underscore output, and then you can oh, just okay. delete this last part. Yeah. Okay, so we updated the path root, and we created and updated this output folder for CYM outputs. Now you see this path Meteo. Everyone else will have to update this. Um, let's just confirm you have access to the P drive folder. Mm -hmm. Do you mind going to... Um, Let's hope you have access to the specific folder, or we'll have to come back. Uh, so um, maybe maximize this this folder. Yeah, great. Um, in this PC, go towards the left and make this left um, perfect. Click here. The P drive. Yes. Okay. Uh, we need to get you access to this data set. Um, okay, so we'll do that and we'll go from here. Okay. <laughs> 